After startup, you'll see the welcome screen. Here you can create a new drawing or start a drawing from a variety of provided templates. You can also open a recent drawing or browse to a file. On the Learn tab, we provide a brief list of new features for the release. Along with videos to help you get up to speed on new features, changes to the user interface, and more. And on the Extend tab, you'll find links to forums, online help, and other online learning resources. In the upper right corner, you can log into your Autodesk account, where you can manage your license and explore different purchase options. At the top of the screen is the menu bar. The AutoCAD menu, displayed in bold, contains options specific to the application. The menus to the right are used to perform tasks related to the current drawing. Search is also available to locate a tool in the menu. Below the menu is the toolbar. The toolbar displays frequently used tools, and it can also be customized from a list of provided tools. A badge in the user interface indicates new or updated features. Hover over the badge to see a brief explanation. You can also click Learn More to view a help topic about the feature. The badges can be turned off or on from the Help menu or by typing Show New State in the command window. File tabs help organize your open drawings. Click on the Quick View button for a preview of all of the currently open drawings. Clicking an open drawing displays a preview of the layouts in that drawing. Right-click on any file tab for additional options. The drawing area is where you create and modify objects to represent your design. In the upper left corner of the drawing area are the viewport controls. Here you can toggle the display of the view cube, Control the number of viewports, select a named or preset view, or select a visual style. The view cube, located in the upper right corner of the drawing area, allows you to rotate the view of your drawing to see it from a different viewpoint. To the right of the drawing area are docked palettes, such as Layer and Properties, Reference Manager, and Content Palettes. If multiple palettes are docked, Use the tabs to switch between palettes. Undock palettes if you want to move or resize them. Set dock palettes to auto hide to increase the drawing area. Palettes expand automatically when you mouse over the title bar and collapse when they aren't being used. In the lower left corner of the drawing area is the UCS icon which displays the positive directions of the X, Y, and Z axes. To the left of the drawing window are the tool sets. Tool sets are organized into tabs and panels. For example, the draw panel on the drafting tab contains tools to create objects such as lines, circles, and ellipses, while the modify panel contains tools to modify objects such as move, copy, and rotate. The modeling tab contains tools to create 3D solid, surface, and mesh models. You can switch between a full tool set and a mini tool set. The mini tool set contains the same tools as the full tool set, just in a smaller icon size to take up less drawing area. Panels can also be collapsed or expanded as needed. You can add or remove tools from a predefined list, reorder panels, or create a custom panel. In the lower left below the drawing area are the controls to switch between model space, where you'll do most of your drawing, and paper space, the layout tabs that allow you to control which area of the drawing to publish and at which scale. You can add more layouts by clicking on the plus sign. To the right of the layouts tab is the status bar. The status bar displays layout and view tools, common drafting aids, and annotation scaling tools. The blue highlight indicates the tool is on. Click Settings to customize the display of the status bar. Use the command line to start a command and provide input for the current command. 
As you enter a command, autocomplete will suggest a list of matching commands. After typing a command name or input, press Enter. Dynamic input displays command prompts next to the cursor.